My pleasure. Uh, this hopeful and this collapse and fainting spell with Hillary Clinton, does that happen from pneumonia? Can that happen from pneumonia, walking or otherwise? Let's ask Dr. Rashini Raj, uh, internist at NYU Langone Medical Center. Dr. Kennett, in other words, I've had pneumonia, others have had pneumonia. I don't think it's unusual, but, but uh, the fainting spell, uh, can that happen? It can, Neil. I mean, we know the common symptoms of pneumonia are things more like a cough or fever, but you can certainly get fatigue. You are more prone to becoming dehydrated, overheated, and you could potentially have a fainting spell and, or just feel weak in general. So um, she's had prior uh, incidents of blood clot in her brain from a little episode where she fell some time back. So uh, people automatically, doctor, seize on a development like this and say, well, there's something they're not letting on and, and 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 one of the first things that came to mind was the fact that her staff was attributing this to heat and all of that and never saying anything about the diagnosis of, of pneumonia prior what do you look for what are some of the things you look for to sort of assess someone just visually when you look at them on tv or otherwise well i mean looking at her over the last several days she actually looks quite well other than this incident so i do think that you know this is more what we're talking about the milder case of pneumonia what we call a walking pneumonia now certainly on that one day september 11th she was stumbling a bit so she did look fatigued or weaker but if you look over the last several weeks she doesn't look like someone who is seriously ill even taking into account this cough that she's had you know pneumonia can be difficult to diagnose in the beginning maybe the cough was this beginning of pneumonia or maybe it was allergies and then it progressed to something more that was more recently diagnosed we tend to scrutinize older candidates she'll be 69 i believe uh, mm -hmm. later uh, this month maybe yes. next month i could have it wrong uh, uh, donald maybe trump is 70. <laughs> uh, do we pay too much attention to that because john kenny memory serves me in his early 40s had a host of ailments that we never knew about until well after his death including addison's disease true so just because you're older or younger doesn't necessarily give you a huge indication of what's going on inside and your overall health but as we get older we are more prone to chronic diseases more serious diseases so i do think it makes sense to pay more attention to an older candidate in general though you know our personal medical information we really pride ourselves on keeping that private in the medical community in this case however we of course want to know as much information as we can to make sure people are able-bodied and able to you know fulfill that role as president do you when you hear candidates speak out I mean, as a doctor I mean, do you think that uh, the better part of valor is just to fess up and be honest about it would you advise patients particularly those in the public sphere of that it's better or as the president said today let the candidates decide it case by case basis i think it's very complicated when it comes to medical information because sometimes when you release certain things it can be misconstrued misinterpreted and certainly used against you by your opponent right. so it's, it's very complex i think maybe if there was some sort of impartial medical board that could evaluate the candidates and give their two cents maybe that would be helpful but it's a slippery slope and you know you hear the word pneumonia people think that's very serious and scary as you said you've had it many people have had it it can be mild and maybe they didn't feel it was that relevant or important initially to disclose it doctor thank you very very much um, thank you. again uh, Hillary Clinton is expected to resume her schedule we're told uh, the latter part of this week even though a number of people have said that that might be kind of hard to do as she needs her rest to get ready for the big debates a couple of weeks off in the meantime